I think I think that'll work. I don't know. If, if not, you'll have to shout out at me. Let me know. May just be you and me and Lindsay today. <laughs> oh, cool. Hey, Lindsay. I can't hear you. Just barely. I think I'm. I'll tell you what, I have a hard, <laughs> I have a hard time with sound on on these and I think I guess it's my earpiece I don't know but my mute doesn't work for whatever reason <laughs> and so I was proctoring a an exam virtually a couple weeks ago and it was I mean we were like almost two hours into this exam <laughs> and I was checking my text and somebody sent a video and it it started playing and the guy was like hey you know waving at me because I thought it was muted and he said, whatever you're doing, I can hear it. He said, I've been hearing you the whole time. <laughs> it's like two hours. He said, you breathe really heavy. <laughs> oh my gosh, whatever. <laughs> Which I guess it probably does sound that way when you're wearing a headset. And, you know, sitting there staring at a computer screen. Hey, Nathan. Hey, how's it going? Good. How about you? Good. I was rushing. I was trying to find my materials and get ready for this. <laughs> yeah, I apologize. I don't have my screen on because when I'm nowhere near ready, I'm finding it hard to stop working. <laughs> yes. But I will get my stuff together. I might actually okay. might have to leave early, but I really want to make a Santa painting as well. <laughs> okay. It's all good. Um, I, Molly said she's going to record it. So if you wanted to go back awesome. to the end of it. Um, cool. If you need to. Yeah. Hey, Nicaea. It is. Tell me how if I'm pronouncing it correctly. Is it Nicaea or Nicaea? Nicaea. Hi. Let's see. Hi, Rebecca. Okay, guys. Oops. Um, let me. I just got rid of my screen. Let me. <laughs> let me get it back. There we go. Okay. Um. Okay. We'll go ahead and get started, and because it's going to take us a full hour, <laughs> so the first thing we need to do is just kind of give us give ourselves a little bit of a guide. So we're going to use our straight edge. We're just going to eyeball it. And just do, I hope you have your pencil, just make a straight line across there. That's going to give you an idea of where you want to start your hat. It doesn't have to be perfect. And again, just eyeball it about a third of the way up. And then we're going to just real lightly in here, just kind of sketch in your Santa hat. 
start you're going to start about inch and a half in on e- either side and you're going to just however you want it to look i'm going to draw my little loop in there doesn't have to be perfect because you're going to paint over that um, and this one is going to come up like this You can draw the ball on the end if you want. And then we're going to about an inch down, inch and a half. You're going to just sketch in a little nose and then give you, an, you might want to give yourself an idea of where you're going to put his little cheeks. That's all. That's all we have to draw. So y'all let me know when you're ready to move on. Can you all see that? I know it's real light. Let me get it closer there. That might not help, but um, just real light. Gave myself an idea. We're going to paint over that, and the paint's going to cover those pencil marks. So don't worry about it. Don't draw them on too heavy, but just just to kind of give yourself an idea of where you're going. Okay. All right. Is everybody... Out there. Okay. So we're going to take our flat brush. And I like to, well, you probably need to get yours just a little bit damp before you start. It'll help the paint to flow a little easier. And the first thing that we're going to do is um, our background. We're just going to do it real quick. It's real messy and choppy, which I love. It gives a lot of flow and a lot of movement to the painting. So you're going to start with your green and just start covering your canvas. And be sure that you um, do the edges, too, because you want it to be nice and finished when you hang it. Go down to the line that you drew for yourself and then just kind of... Um, outline that hat and you want to work pretty quick because we're going to want to go back in and um, work in some yellow and maybe a little bit of white before it really dries good so just use your use the um, flat brush like a blade to run along the side of your pencil mark there should just flow if you got your brush damp before you put the paint on it that paint should just flow right on there i know it seems kind of early for christmas doesn't it but if you're like me I, I decorate usually the day after thanksgiving so we're really only about three weeks out from christmas decorating so um i wanted to do a Santa. I, I asked Molly what she thought we should do if we should do a fall thing because I was kind of thinking something pumpkin-y but um, I, everybody likes everybody likes Christmas <laughs> so we decided Christmas would be the way to go. Okay now when it comes to the ball where my ball is going to be on his hat I'm not going to paint there just because um, it'll be a lot easier to get the white on there if you're not trying to cover up your green. And um, it might take your green just a little while to dry. So um, I'm going to leave that little spot white. And I'm going to try to actually go around all my little curly cues and everything just to make it easier on myself. And again, it doesn't have to be exact. Um, Okay. 
Everybody doing okay? Everybody's so quiet. So I've got mine covered with green. You all keep working. Um, and then once you get it, once you get it covered with green, it doesn't have to be solid. You can see I've got places where you can see through it. But we're going to add the, the yellow. And so I'm going to go back and start doing that. And so just whenever you get there, you can start doing that. Don't, don't really blend it in real good. I mean, you want it to stand out. Um, remember, we talked about how it's going to give some movement to the painting. So you just want some just old strokes of yellow in there. Follow the contour of the hat, make it really cute. Don't work it into the green too much. Again, you don't want it to blend, you want it to stand out. And then I'm also going to put just the hint of white in there, just add just another dimension in there. And That looks pretty good. I've already thrown paint everywhere. I'm a sloppy painter. <laughs> I've got it all over my counter already. Same thing, yeah. I'm like, even though mine's like tiny, I'm like, oh my God, I have paint everything. <laughs> <laughs> you doing okay? Is it, I'm sure it's looking great. If, it's going to feel like it's not because just because your brush strokes are so choppy and your colors aren't blended or anything, but that's what makes it really cute. So I didn't have all the paint necessary. Oh, okay. I just moved a couple of weeks ago. Oh, so gosh. I can't, I know I couldn't find anything. So this yeah. is where we are currently. Right. I used think. a little bit of gold instead of. Oh yeah, gold. that's cute. That's so cute. Love it. Yeah, love it. Thank you. You know what would also be cute is to do the hat um, with, you could do it white with like stars on it. 
more like an elf kind of thing, mm-hmm. or you could do a plaid hat. And I was thinking last night, it'd be really cute not even to do the face, just to go all the way to the bottom, just do a Santa hat. I mean, how oh, cute be would cute. that be? Yeah, it'd be mm-hmm. really cute. Especially if you did like like the stars and stuff, that way you had like detail on the hat. Yeah, and, yeah. And a lot more stuff going on like up here. Mm-hmm. And it, it would just be adorable, I think. Just, just the hat would be really cute. Um, we're live on Facebook, and Lisa Temple said um, how adorable it is. She's um, into cool. it. Good. Okay. How's everybody doing? I don't want to move. I don't want to go too fast. Um, I don't want to. This should be relaxing for everybody. I don't want to stress anybody out. <laughs> And I know sometimes if, if you feel like you're behind or something, it, it can stress you out. And I, I don't want that. So um, if everybody's ready, then we're going to go on and do some black on the hat. We need to get that on there so that can dry. So while we, we'll put the black on there, all this, um, all the wrinkles and shading in the hat, that's all black just under the red. So we need to get that on there so that can be drying. And then we're going to work on our face. Okay. So we're going to move on then. Um, So you can use your flat brush again for the black or what, or your round brush, whichever one you feel comfortable with. Um, Either one, you don't want your, well, probably I'm going to use the black or the flat brush. So I'm going to pick up a little bit of black. It doesn't take much. And again, I'm going to do the same thing I did when we were kind of outlining with the green. So I'm just going to use it as a, flat edge, if y'all can see how I'm, I'm turning it to the side and just using it as a flat. And I'm gonna run black, just right along the edge of the hat, like that. And do the other side, I'm gonna wait and do that curly cue at the end because I'm gonna use my round brush for that. So there's my, my hat outline. And then I'm gonna go in and I'm just gonna put in some, a few little, um, shadows here under the under the red it's going to make it look just like some little folds in the hat like that okay and then I'm going to shade just a little bit around the edge here just to give it a little bit of dimension like that There. All right. And then I'm going to use my round brush to do the little curly cue there. So I have a little bit more precision in there. Hmm. I'm not sure I like my brush, but it's like I have an errant hair. Okay. Now, I took my curl over the top, so you'll not want to put the line through it. Remember, it's going behind it, so you only want your lines to go where if it loops, if yours loops, maybe it doesn't, then you don't want to cross it both ways. And then I'm going to outline, the. and this doesn't have to be exact. It's actually cuter, I think, if it's just kind of loose and uh, maybe not right on there, so... All right. Everybody doing okay? Everybody has their cameras off, so I, I, so I can't tell. Um, and everybody's being really quiet, and I get that because you're concentrating. But um, okay, good. Are we ready to move? Are you ready to move on, Lindsay? Everybody good? Okay. So we're going to come down here and we're going to work some on the fa- on the hair. Okay, so that's what we're going to do first is the hair. Now you're going to take um, 
white and if you have gray i can't remember if i put gray on the um on the list if not you can just mix a little bit of white and gray white and black obviously and make gray <laughs> But an easier way than mixing it is to just to start with your white. Oops, I just stuck my finger in the paint. That's always nice. Um, is just to start with the white, and then you can work in just a little tiny bit of black as you go. So we're gonna start. We're gonna start here. Remember, his hat's gonna come down to about where his nose starts. So you can start there, and just draw. Just paint around that cheek that you roughed in earlier. I'm going to get a little bit of gray so y'all can see what I'm doing here. Like this. It's going to start at his nose. I don't know. Can y'all see what I'm doing there? That's where I have his nose, and I'm coming out from the nose like that. So mine's going to be darker than I want your all's to be, um, but just so you can see it. Okay? And then from here gonna like this just paint it out like this on the sides you're gonna come down from where you want the hat to be that's his hair right there so basically you're just gonna kind of um, outline that little circle and you want the mustache part to come over the top okay let me see Remember, mine's darker than what you'll want yours to be. You can always start with your gray or, um, and then make it more white if you want, like that. Okay. Okay. So that's what it should be, mostly white. I'm gonna go back now, and now that y'all can see where my strokes are, I'm gonna go back in and put some white in it. Coming out of his nose, like this. You don't have to make it very solid under that because that's where we're gonna put his mouth. Um, I'm going to... Now I'm going back now that I've, I've got a little more white on there. You'll want to do this. I'm going to go back in and just pull again using the flat edge of it and just pull some gray streaks through there. Kind of highlight that gray and like that. It kind of defines his mustache in front of his beard by doing that. Okay. And then while you have your white and gray, you can go back up and on the ball of his hat, you can go ahead and put the white on that while you have white on your brush. Try to, your black probably isn't gray or isn't dry, so try to stay off of that a little bit if you can. Um, if not, it's fine. It'll work a little bit of gray in there and give it some dimension. There, I like that. You can put a little bit of gray in it. 
There we go. Am I doing okay? So one of the good things about this Santa is he's not, um, he's not perfect <laughs> and he doesn't have, it's not a precise thing. So just, um, just let him be what he is. Put the paint on there and it'll, it'll work out. I promise. Okay. Is everybody good with that? How is everybody doing? Good. Are we good to move on to the next step, which is kind of roughing in his cheeks and nose? My Santa is sad. I don't know ah. what's wrong with him. I think that think. he's going through a tough time, but <laughs> we're going to work started. through it together. Okay. Well, let me, if you want to show him, then I'm happy to look at him and maybe. See Not him. right now. I'm still getting him help. Okay. <laughs> okay. Santa's in therapy. Oh no. Okay. Well, I will give you another minute or two to do that. I will say that my Santa looks like he's been in too much soot. So he's a little he's a little he's That's a little okay. Dark. That's okay. Yes, and all all you would need to do with that, Nathan, is just go back in with your um with your brush and just pick up just straight white and just work it into that. And don't 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 blend it. Just put the white on there and just use it as a highlight. Don't blend it. Just put it on there and let her go. Okay. Okay, guys, um, take your round brush and your flesh color and just put in his little cheek here. You can just do it like this. I like, I'm working it in a circle just to kind of give it more of a round. And I want, I'm going to leave strokes in there, too. And I'm going to go back and whichever, it doesn't matter what flesh color you use, you can still pick up just a little bit of that red and put on there on the out after you get your color on there. I'll show you what I'm talking about. And don't forget to do his nose. And remember that we're leaving about inch, inch and a half between where his nose is and the bottom of where we're putting our hat there. And then put a little lip in there. Right there. Okay. 
Okay. I think that looks pretty good. Now I'm going to go back and you don't have to do this, but it just gives it a little bit of dimension. I'm going to go back and pick up just the tiniest little bit of red and work in around the edge there. Oops, that was a lot of red, wasn't it? All right, there we go. Ooh, Santa's blushing today. All right. And he's getting a rosy nose. Here we go. We're going to come back and, and put just a little tiny bit of black around that, and that's going to kind of set that cheek in there. So don't worry about that. It look it, Right now, it looks like it's floating a little bit, but once we get just a tiniest little bit of black, it's going to set that cheek back into the facial hair. All right. Believe it or not, guys, we're pretty close to done. That, that's quick. We're only 30 minutes in. Yeah. We're, well, once we get the hat on there, we're going to come back and work on the face a little bit. But, I mean, the big parts are done. The I think what I feel like were, was probably the stressful parts for everybody is done is what I mean. <laughs> Is everybody liking their Santa? Oh no, Lindsay walked away. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> She's like, I'm done. I'm, I'm out. I like mine except my like skin color. Like uh -huh. the paint I have is like very thin. I don't know. Oh. And so I'm gonna have to. Well, so I, mix it with a little bit of white naked, and that'll make. I it did nice that, and it's still it's still so thin. So I have some like iridescent like um medium mm -hmm. to thicken it up so i think cool. i'm gonna do that okay and give him a little glittery sheen yeah there you go can y'all hear me now what's the yes sister? okay i was trying to talk and nobody oh. could, nobody said anything no. so that's why i walked away i i mean my fan is not great he kind of has a little bit of a spray tan i think <laughs> <laughs> a little orange <laughs> oh a little bit that's, that's all okay right. <laughs> That's okay. So you can um, let that dry a little bit and then go back and mix a little bit of white and a little bit of red into your flesh color. Okay. And that'll make it a little pinkier if you want it pink. Yeah, um, that'll be better. Yeah. Okay. So while that dries, because we're going to come back and work on that a little bit more too. So while that dries, let's put our red on our hat. And then you're really going to think, oh gosh, we're... We're getting close. So, um, rinse your rinse your brush really good. I've I pulled a bunch of um, a bunch of flat brushes, so I haven't been talking about rinsing. But make sure that you're rinsing your brushes out really good. Um, okay, and then we're gonna go back and get that red paint, whatever red you've got, and you're gonna paint just right over the black. Okay, you just go paint his hat in there and that black will then look like shadows in his hat. 
don't go all the way over the edge, but you want to you want to cover that black a little bit just so it kind of all marries together there. Like this. I've got more of a red this time than I did the first one with a berry color. I'm kind of following the contour of the hat too with my brush strokes. Just kind of reinforces the movement of the hat. Instead of going straight up and down or straight across, just kind of follow the contour of the hat. Deanna, do you have any yes. tips on getting toward the tip? Should we wait and use like the smaller brush or you can. just I angle? Just, I just use the edge of this, but you can use if you're more comfortable with the smaller brush, you can. Um, I just use the edge of it. Or just the corner of it. <laughs> To get in the little yeah. little places there. And remember, if you, if you have a little bit of white showing through, it's fine. If you have a little green showing through, it's fine, which is one reason I really like this Santa because he's he's not a perfectionist. <laughs> That's my kind of Santa. All right. You can tell a big difference in my reds. I used the two. But he's cute either way. He's cute in any colors, I think. <laughs> well, yeah, the second one is so bright. It's like fire engine red or something. I know. It is. And I, I grabbed one, I think it was called like cranberry or something. Let me see what it's called. Oh, no, it's called cherry. I would say that that is cherry red. It's that is definitely cherry red in <laughs> And you'll want to make sure that you get all that red rinsed out because red is is hard to rinse out, almost as hard as black. But I don't even know if we'll be using that anymore. Got red down there on his nose. I'm telling y'all, I'm a sloppy painter. All right. Actually, I think I'm going to go in here. And you can just play with it and make it look however you want. I'm going to go back in here with just a little bit of black on that hat. I'm wanting just a little more.
There. I'm like that. How's everybody doing? I see you. You're muted. I have a very large canvas and very small brushes, so I think this is oh. taking me a little longer. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I didn't say what size brushes. I almost always use a one inch flat brush. For for just about anything I make. I've got a one inch flat brush. I'm getting there. I'm almost done with the hat. So Okay. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to go back now and I'm going to use my round brush and you all keep working on what you're doing. I'm just telling you my next step. I'm going to use my round brush and just put just a little bit of black around his, around his cheeks. I'm not going to completely outline the cheeks. I'm just going to just kind of define it a little bit here and there, like right there, just kind of a half, half moon thing there um, on each side. And then on his nose, which I'm probably going to like that. And then I'm going to outline his lip and put his mouth in there. So I'm going to paint just a triangle here for mouth. And then just outline the bottom of his lip. Here we go. Now I'm just putting in just a few little, um, I'm just using white and putting a few more strokes in his mustache just to kind of define it a little bit or give it some texture, not to define it. Give a little bit of texture, making it a little more interesting there. Okay. Oh, oops. Just. I just put a little, few little white strokes into his mustache. Just give it a little more texture. Mm. Mm, mine does not look like that. So um, we're just going to say this is abstract painting. <laughs> hey, yours isn't supposed to look like this because it's yours. So everybody's <laughs> going to look different. Everybody's just going to look different, which is the beauty of it, right? <laughs> it's okay. personal. It's personal to you. <laughs> Yes. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I'm going to need to go back over my mustache. My mouth does not look right. 
<laughs> <laughs> well, so I just put in the black and then I, I took the white and I didn't blend at all. I just took the white and just ran it along the edge to clean up the sides because my sides weren't real clean once I painted the black on there. And if you don't blend mm -hmm. it, just go over it one time, it'll cover it up. And I had a little much on his no nose too. I had more on his nose than I wanted. And you can go in and mix your flesh color with a little bit of white and do some highlights on the nose if you want and on the cheeks even, like right in the center, kind of just play with it until you like it. I'm liking this and I'm just mixing white with my flesh color and doing some highlights. Oh, I like that. Cool. <laughs> Is everybody okay? Charles Colley, you haven't said a word. Are you all right? <laughs> Are you painting? I guess okay. he's out. He left. He said, "My mine's not Santa." So yeah, he, he's he's not gonna talk about it. He doesn't. Can y'all hear me? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I, I have not been painting. I've just been eating lunch, watching you all. You oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. So has everybody gone back and put just a hint of black around the cheek to kind of define it a little bit? Don't do the whole, don't outline the whole thing like we did on the hat. Just like a little swoop on the side of it. Um, and then the nose, I got mine a little heavier on the nose than I wanted it, but that's okay. The, the black outline, I mean. So y'all tell me whenever you're ready. We only have one step left. So we're doing great on time. So you can take all the time you need. I'm having to go back. My mustache, it's earth slash beard. It's just not been, not been great. So don't blend things too much. That, um, it, I think it kind of, I always want to blend things, but you need to just kind of like our background. You just want it to be rough. You want a lot of movement in it. So do that with his mustache too. So you can see, I'll, I'll put this closer. You can see my mustache. Um, you can clearly see the strokes. Oh yeah, I like it. It looks good. 
That's really cute, Nathan. I said thank you, but. <laughs> All right. So you want to make sure that your red hat is dry at the bottom, right along that edge, before we do the um, the rough or the fur on his hat, because red bleeds really easy. So you'll want to make sure that that's dry. You can even pat it just a little bit, and just right at the very edge, because we don't want to cover the hat. We just want to take it up to where it's going to meet it, and that's our last step. So. Y'all let me know when you're ready. And you'll need a clean, you'll need to rinse your brush really good. How you doing, Lindsay? I think I'm doing all right. This is much better than the fireworks that we painted last time because <laughs> those weren't fireworks that I painted. I'm not sure what they were, but. <laughs> were they spidery? They were spidery and they look like they ate too many little Debbies or something. They were. <laughs> uh, they look like flowers almost, like spider flowers. I oh, know. I see. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so our last step is to take a clean brush once you've cleaned it really good. And you're going to get your white. And you're just going to kind of swirl it in here for his, the fur on his hat. And you just barely want to come up over the edge of the hat. You can swirl it in, you can stipple it like that, just kind of pounce the brush. Um, you don't want it to be too precise and straight because fur is not that way. So you're just kind of covering the rough edges of, you're not blending it into anything. You're just covering the rough edges of the gray below and the red above, just to kind of seat that hat on there. There we go. You'll see it. And that's it. Once you get that, you're done. I'll go back and add just a little bit of gray. I'm like Nathan, I'm still working on my mustache. There we go. Love it. So who was it that was saying theirs didn't look like mine? Was that Nicaea? Because you can see that mine doesn't look like mine either. <laughs> So the one that I did today does not look like this. this <laughs> no, 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 no. Yours looks like yours. <laughs> Mine. <laughs> Mine doesn't look like anything in life. <laughs> huh? Oh, that looks good. Nathan? You did good. My white is a little see-through, but yes. That's, that's good. I like it. 
No, C is not going to share it, I don't think. Oh, it's cute. That's cute. <laughs> Please. It looks like a pumpkin. <laughs> cute. Oh, that's good. That's good, Rebecca. <laughs> you can... Are you going to leave the hat white? You're muted. Okay, can you hear me? Yes. Oh, cool. Yeah, I only had a limited palette of colors, so I did oh, the hat I kind of a light blue. Oh, I, I don't see. know. I might try to find some red later cool. and switch it up, but um, cool. <laughs> Abstract. Cute. Good job. <laughs> Thank you. This is super fun. Oh, that looks good, Lindsay. I like it. Yeah. Thank you. I didn't follow directions, so I have red in my little um, um, furry thing around the hat. Yeah. That's okay. <laughs> Let that dry and then just go back in and put a little white over it. It'll be fun. Okay. <laughs> On Facebook, right. Daniel Hume said that they are also cute. They are cute. They're all cute. Everybody did a good job. Yeah, great job, everybody. Did you paint Molly? Oh, okay. <laughs> Funny. No. Oh. All right. Good job. <laughs> Good job, everybody. Enjoy it now because you won't see it anymore after oh. today. <laughs> Uh, oh, you're welcome. Absolutely. Thank you all for coming. It's so fun. I love it. Good job, everybody. Thank you so much. This was fun. Yeah, yeah thank you. All right. Well, what's the next plan? Whenever, if y'all want to do.